guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a collab video. I'm super excited with my friend Danny Lee. I'm calling you Danny because I know your name is spelled D-A-N-I-Y-E, but I don't want to butcher your name because I feel like this name is very, very beautiful, but I can't pronounce it. So Danny or D, whatever you want me to call you, girl, thank you so much for reaching out to me and thinking about this idea. I think it's such a beautiful idea. So if you're somebody who is married or if you're in a long-term relationship with somebody, if you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. But this is the How I Did My Makeup on My Wedding Day tag. It was a lot of fun, like I said, to just go back and reminisce about the best day of my life, which was marrying my husband. And honestly, I just, I i can't believe I'm so lucky to have such an amazing man in my life behind me at all times. So with that being said, guys, thank you again, Danny, for, I can't wait to see what you came up with, Danny. I'm pretty sure you're going to fucking slay my entire existence. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Enjoy! Alright guys, I'm super excited about this video because honestly, thinking back to my wedding day makes me so giddy and happy because honestly, the entire day was very weird and how we got married was very weird too. Obviously, I'm not going to use every single product I used on the day of because I don't have that makeup anymore, but the one thing I still do have and still do use to this day is my Lorac Pro Palette. As you can see, this thing has been used a bunch. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation. Alright, so for priming, I'm going to use my Clinique Super Primer, which is almost gone. I love it so much. I'm going to go ahead and just apply that all over the face. I think I was using my Maybelline Baby Skin back then. So my husband and I met online, which is probably the most unconventional way to meet somebody. At least not nowadays it's not, but back then it was very, very weird. And I always say this because it's the freaking truth. That boy catfished my ass. <laughs> Which, if you've watched my catfish video, I obviously had it coming, but at the end of the day, honestly, it obviously worked out for us. I remember when I first told my mom that I was dating somebody from this town, actually, this is where I met him. When I told my mom I was traveling to Tupper Lake, because at the time I didn't have my own car, so I had to use the bus to come see him, because my mom wouldn't let me use her car. I met Nick on this website that used to be called My Yearbook, now I think it's called Meet Me or something of that nature, which honestly to me is probably like the dumbest place to meet somebody even though it's called Meet Me, but back then that was like the place to meet people. Especially for places like up here where there really aren't that many people, you have very slim pickings. That was the place to go and check out what you had as far as options. So that's where I met my husband. We first started talking in August of 2011. And this was, honestly, a couple of weeks after that catfish story I told you guys. He messaged me first and showed interest first. And when we got to talking, I was just so impressed with his knowledge of music, or at least what I thought was his knowledge of music. I think I mentioned this back on my catfish video, but I have always been, or I used to be at least, very, very interested in musicians as far as, like, dating. And Nick, when we first started talking, the first thing I asked him was, like, do you play instruments? Because his profile picture had him holding an acoustic guitar. It was a beautiful... Had him holding an acoustic guitar. It was a beautiful... He had this beautiful Takamini acoustic guitar in his picture. And that was the first thing I noticed in the picture, so I was, like, really attracted to him. However, However, a few months later, I find out he has absolutely zero instrumental talents whatsoever. Which is obviously not a big deal to me because we're obviously married now. So our first time meeting was honestly something that was very, very special to me because I had butterflies for hours days before I was gonna meet him. There were a couple of days where I was like, you know what, maybe I should just call it off because like, I'm not really ready for this. I don't know if I want to go see him. I feel very nervous. So we make our way up to Tupper Lake and the entire time my stomach is in knots. Like I was literally so close a few times to telling my mom to pull over the car so I could throw up. I was so nervous and I don't get nervous. I'm not somebody who gets nervous. I've performed in front of thousands and thousands of people at different concerts and different things I've done with my choirs, but I was so incredibly nervous about meeting him in person for the first time. Back at that point in time, I lived in Scroon Lake, which is about 65 miles from where we live right now here on Tupper Lake, which is where I met him. So it takes about a good like hour and a half to get here from Scroon Lake. So the entire hour and a half we are in the car, I am just like thinking, should I just go ahead with it or should I just stay at Joanne's house and not go out anywhere? Finally, we get in Tupper Lake and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm not ready for this. And that's when it hit me that I was really, really nervous. Like, I was not ready to meet him. My mom's like, don't be a chicken shit. Like, you made all these plans. You're gonna go meet this guy. So because I didn't want to be a rude bitch and just ditch out on Joanne without, you know, visiting with her first, I sat down 
on for a good like 20 to 25 minutes before getting up and getting ready to see Nick. At this point, I still had not texted him yet to let him know I was in town, so he had no idea I was there. And honestly, I almost didn't text him, but something inside of me was like, you need to let him know you're here. We're gonna go on this date. And I went into the bathroom to get changed. I was doing my hair, you know, doing a little bit of makeup. And I looked into her bathroom mirror and gave myself the pep talk of the fucking century. I looked into the mirror and was like, self, we're gonna go on this date. You don't need a man to be happy, but you know what? We're gonna see if we can be happy with this guy. Maybe he's gonna be the best thing in my life or the worst thing in my life. We're not gonna know until we go on this fucking date. So we're gonna go on the date and that's it. So then I finally messaged him and said, hey, I'm here. I'm at Joanne Whitman's house, which is the girl that my mom's best friends with who lives here. And because, surprise, surprise, everyone works at the exact same fucking job in this town, Nick knew exactly where that woman lived because she works with his mom at the same job they have now to this day. So he showed up within minutes. It felt like it was maybe like three minutes from the time I texted him to the time he showed up at the door. So my mom comes to the bathroom and is like, sweetie, he's here. I'm not even joking. My mom has the most soft-spoken voice you'll ever hear out of everybody. No one knows how I'm her daughter. Like, no one gets it because I'm the complete opposite. So when my mom knocks on the door to let me know that he's there, my heart drops from my chest to my ass in about maybe like negative 2.5 seconds. I was so nervous. All that confidence I had just built up in that mirror went straight down the shitter. I sit in the bathroom for an extra like three to five minutes because I'm just like, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? And my heart is still in my asshole. I don't know how to react. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I'm really, really nervous, but it felt like a good nervous. So I was like, you know what? Clearly there is someone here telling me this is going to be a good thing. So I finally go outside and my mom has her fucking phone out and she's like taking pictures and oh my god thinking about it now thinking about that initial moment when we first see each other like physically for the first time it makes me so giddy because he looked so dorky but i swear to god in that moment i swear to you there was not another guy that looked as fucking adorable as he did in that second he gets out of the car gives me a hug and my mom's in the background Oh, this is so cute. My mom. Internally, I'm like, mom, could you not? Like, I am at this point, I was like 20 years old. My mom's still embarrassing me on my first date. Like, that's fucking cool. Even though his outfit that he was wearing when I first met him did not match whatsoever, I'm talking like red ass basketball shorts, a camo t-shirt, and bright orange hunting baseball cap, a pair of boots, long socks, and this flannel pullover jacket thing. Like, did not match in the slightest, but I didn't give a shit because he looked so fucking cute in that outfit. Like, he was working that disarray of clothing, girl. To save some time, I already did this eye, but the first shade I used for my makeup look for my wedding day was the shade Taupe, and I put that in the crease. Chloe? Calmate. She's at the window right now, growling at the dog next door. Te calma or te calmo. Now, obviously, this is not supposed to be a complete recollection of our entire relationship up until this point, so I'll go ahead and just fast forward to the day we got engaged. So at that point, we had been together for about two to three years, and marriage had been brought up in spurts here and there. I was very vocal after he had brought up marriage the first time that I knew for a fact that he was the one that I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. Like, there was nobody else I could picture myself with. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason why we did it so quickly. I mean, getting married and things like that, because we both shared the same viewpoint on things. We both knew we wanted each other and each other only. We had no interest in other people. There was no interest in dating or anything like that. We just wanted each other. And ultimately, that was the reason why we decided to go ahead and get married very, very quickly. Next. I'm gonna take the shade Sable, which is right here, and we're gonna go ahead and tuck that into the outside corner. And then I'm gonna take a very, very small amount of the shade Espresso, and we're gonna put that at the very, very outside corner, and that's literally all I did as far as eyeshadows. Nick and I finally got married on June 27th, 2014, at exactly midday, 12 o'clock p.m. midday, and honestly, it was the best day of my life. We spent $35 on our entire wedding, and that was it. And it was the best day of my life, and I would not change it for the world. Back then, I didn't believe in doing my lower lash line to match the top lash line. So it might look a little uneven, but this is what I looked like as far as the eyes on my wedding day. Alright, so all I did was I added some eyeliner and obviously put a red lip on. I tried to mimic exactly how bad I was at makeup back then, because at that point in time, I was not educated on how to put on makeup and things like that. So obviously, there are a lot of things I would have changed, like I would have definitely 
definitely use some eyeliner to kind of even out the darkness of the lips but I wanted to make sure I stayed true to this whole tag and actually do the makeup that I used for my wedding day this is what I looked like in the face which looks crazy girl it looks crazy but at the end of the day like I said I honestly that day was the best day of my life he's the man I want to grow old with he's the man I want to have children with I'm hopefully gonna have children soon with and he may be a goofball, but he is my goofball, and that's all that matters when it comes to being in love with somebody. If you truly feel like you love that person, and if you can see yourself in the future with that person, and the feelings are mutual between both of you, then don't let people's negativity stop you from being with the person that you are in love with. Go to that little chapel in Las Vegas and get married. Go to the Justice of the Peace. Have a huge wedding. Have a small wedding. Do whatever the fuck you want to do as long as you're doing it with the person you love by your side. So that is it guys, thank you so much for watching this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This honestly was such a great idea for a tag, so I want to personally thank, I don't want to butcher your name, I'm going to call you Danny, but Danny Lee, thank you so much for doing this collab with me and making this idea up. It was such a wonderful thing to go back and think about my relationship with my husband and just relive those memories and just be happy about it because I honestly just, sometimes I don't forget about how blessed I am to have such a good man in my life, but it's times like these where I really look back and I appreciate the fact that I married somebody that I honestly would not ever want to live a day without. So with that being said guys, I tag each and every single one of you guys to do this tag if you are married or if you're in a relationship. Who gives a shit? Do it if you want to. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.